Hey guys, it's Bastion time. Welcome to this episode of Zelda News. I'm your host, Sebastian. Let's get to the first story. So what would a Zelda News episode be without some Did You Know Gaming? And this week's Did You Know Gaming Zelda-related thing is about something I had never heard of before, so thank goodness for Did You Know Gaming. There's apparently a secret pot hidden in Ocarina of Time. It's probably an accident. I don't think it's supposed to be secret. I don't think it's supposed to be invisible. But in the programming, there are two pots sitting next to each other. And for whatever reason, only one of those was, um, only one of those has an image surrounding it. So the other one exists as a piece of code and you can smash into it and, and be behind it and all of that stuff, but it's invisible. So definitely if you want to check out that secret invisible pot in Ocarina of Time, um, there's going to be that link for you explaining how to do that. Next up is something that is a little frustrating, and it's the fact that LEGO has reviewed uh, one of the LEGO sets uh, for Zelda that somebody had submitted to them, um, and has rejected it, unfortunately. Now, for those not in the know, LEGO has this group set up that allows aspiring LEGO set creators to go ahead and submit an idea and if LEGO reviews that idea and thinks it's financially viable, they'll go ahead and uh, make it into an actual set that people can purchase. Um, they did so for Minecraft, so some Zelda fans thought, why the heck not Zelda? So several different fans have submitted several different LEGO sets. One of those gained enough uh, votes to be passed on to LEGO's group. They have reviewed it, but what they said is that, unfortunately, as designed in this particular proposal, it would require too many unique pieces. Um, so, those of you out there who have LEGO set designing skills and want to submit a new proposal, take that into mind and try to design your proposal with fewer new original pieces. If, if you could go ahead and simplify it to something that LEGO could go ahead and produce using pre-existing pieces, then it, they're much more likely to go ahead and try to collaborate with Nintendo on that. But they just feel that it's not financially viable with basically every single piece having to be custom, unfortunately. Next up is a pretty unusual bit of Zelda trivia, and it's the fact that if you're like me, when you played the original Legend of Zelda, you might have noticed um, in retrospect all of these years later that Mr. Miyamoto's name appears very differently in that game. It appears as Miyahan. And a lot of people think uh, that that's a nickname for him, but what they don't realize is that it was, quite frankly, an accident, it's a mistranslation. Um, Mia Moto are two different kanjis, uh, and the second kanji um, can be pronounced as either Han or Moto. Uh, so unfortunately, it got romanized in that first instance as Han instead of Moto. So that is a mistake. Um, however, a group of fans have sort of latched onto that and now have used that as a nickname for him, but it's not an accurate translation of those kanji. So it's just kind of amusing, and now we know. In the previous week, you might remember that amusing uh, Lindsey Sterling video, the Smashing Pots video. Um, there's uh, now released a behind the scenes uh, about how they made that video, and the behind-the-scenes video is just as amusing and interesting as the actual Smashing Pots video, in my opinion. So you'll definitely want to go ahead and take a look at that. There will be a link for you for that uh, behind-the-scenes video down below. And then our final story uh, is about um, sort of error from Zelda to the Adventure of Link, but his doppelganger, Bagu. Um, now, I think that they're meant to be brothers, and you might remember that, of course, there's that infamous uh, character who says, I am error, and a lot of people back in the day used to think this was a bizarre glitch in the game, and he wasn't actually supposed to say that his name was error, they thought that it was literally an error, which, in retrospect, doesn't make that much sense, but yes, his name actually is error, but what uh, was not known to me until just recently, thanks to um, this story, is that his brother, or or 
palette color swap doppelganger Bagu, that is a mistranslation. His name is actually supposed to be Bug. It's supposed to be Error and Bug, which are the developer's sort of nerdy jokes about, you know, bugs, glitches in the game. Bug and error. So, um, so that's pretty funny. It's just too bad that all of these years uh, he's been known as Bagu, and that uh, just doesn't make that joke make sense. So a quick shout out to Sebastian M, uh, Marco H, and Michelle J. They are three individuals who went ahead and contributed to the um, HD webcam fun thingamajig, um, which in case you haven't been paying attention the past couple of weeks, I finally listened to the outcries of we need these videos in HD and then the suggestions from several people, well, why don't you just take uh, donations for the cam? So I'm doing that. And um, so we've got four uh, donations so far. Hopefully it picks up so that this will become a viable uh, option. Um, but thanks to those three, I really appreciate it. And if you want to go ahead and contribute to the HD Webcam Fund, there's a link for you down below, and I'll be sure to give you a shout out as well in a forthcoming video. So thanks, guys. So that's it for this episode of Zelda News. Tomorrow is not a second episode of Nintendo News because unfortunately there was so little Nintendo News uh, uh, there wasn't enough for a second video. Barely enough for one video. So instead um, what's going to happen is there's going to be a um, basically an hour and a half long special new uh, episode of a brand new series called Let's Watch. And what are we going to watch? Well, we're going to watch a movie. It's basically like um, you're watching a movie with me and I'm talking throughout the movie, which is usually really annoying, but hopefully it won't be so in this case, and uh, you'll enjoy watching the movie with me. The movie is the 1984 classic, The Never Ending Story, one of my personal favorites. It's where I get my uh, Bastion name from Bastion Time, and uh, so definitely uh, watch it with me. You'll need a copy of the movie, so you have until tomorrow to scramble and find a copy of the movie, and uh, we'll watch it together tomorrow, so see you then! Bye! So, you'll definitely want to go ahead and shake a, shake a, shake a look. What kind of a word is shake?